Okay, we're going to add an image to this page. So the first thing we want to do is go to our favorite photo editor and we're going to create a new uh, file by the size of 1024 by 664. And then we're going to go to our high res image and copy that in and then paste it into our 1024 by 664. And we're going to size it to that size and that way we know it's going to look exactly the way we want it. And then uh, once we got it sized, now we're going to save it for web device and, um, and check our quality. And then the file format we're going to use is LRG underscore and then whatever the name is and then some kind of a version like A. Now we're going to go edit the page and go to story images. Click on the image and then upload that image. And you know, you don't even have to upload it. You can save it if you're only gonna do one image and it'll automatically upload. Now we're gonna go and look at it. And by default, we can see that it puts the image in the first half of the panel. Now let's go back to the um, uh, photo editor and let's create a new file size of 320 by 415. And that's going to be for our panel image because we want a full panel image. So we're gonna copy that image in and then size it just right for the panel size for the full panel image and let's save it there by PNL underscore and then image file name and uh, and then whatever the version is in this case it's a um, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna edit the page again scroll under the story image to the full panel image click image grab the panel image just hit save and then let's go to the stage here to see how it looks and notice how now it's a full panel image with a copy over it and you mouse over it and you see it now real quickly we're gonna go back and edit and go to panel style and then we can click on featured and hit save go back to stage and notice how now it's two sizes of two panels and let's go back and edit one more time and change it to superhero panel style and hit save go down and hit stage and now notice it's there at the top of the page. That's how we edit images.